Welcome to Deep Thought, broadcasting to find a mate. Now, this gets into deeper. Now, y'all know I don't usually talk about relationships on this channel, but really there is a deeper aspect to relationships, a spiritual aspect. And when I say spiritual, I don't mean in the terms of the of Orthodox religion or, you know, doctrin, doctrinal religion. I don't even know if that's a word. Anyway, you know, not like, yeah, you go, you say certain prayers and all of that. But more on an intangible thing when I talk about spirit. That's the intangible thing. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. And it's the spirit that animates the body. Now, that spirit is an energy, it's a broadcast, it's a frequency, it's a vibe. So, you know, you want to get to the point, if you're looking for a mate, you have to broadcast a certain energy. And now, it's not about necessarily, now, you know, people who follow me on my other channel know I talk about the uh, uh, body game and getting yourself in shape, but that's really just an outer manifestation of your spirit. And I'm going to get more into that uh, in the next couple of podcasts. But broadcasting, what's your energy? It comes down to your mindset. Your mindset. That's the key. That's the key. So the first thing is, what do you really want in a mate? You need to, you need to be very clear in your mind. Like some people, they just meet whoever, but it, then if you talk to them, that's what they broadcast. And like, oh, anybody's good for me. And, this, and then it's like they keep running into like some crazy folk and then they can't figure it out. I'm like, well, that's the energy you're giving off. That you're open. And that's what you're seeing. But if you, have, if you, if you consciously sit down and say, okay, this person needs to be this. This person needs to be that. As long as it's realistic, too. Well, even if it's not realistic, I'm going to get into that in a second. You know, you have to broadcast. Basically, you have to have that in your mindset. Okay, this is what I want. This is what happens when you do that on a practical level. It's not a magic thing. Say you want, um, say you're a man. You want women who look like fashion models. And you walk around like that. Your energy is going to broadcast that. But then subconsciously you start, uh, if you really truly want that, you're going to start going to places where they're going to be at and have that uh, broadcast thing. So you say, okay, I want a fashion model looking woman. Well, you should be looking at, you should be thinking, or your perceptions or your impulse will be to say, okay, where are they going to be at? Oh, they have fashion, fashion models, fashion shows, fashion events, you know, maybe walking around stores that are high fashion. You're going to start going there. Or if a man or if a woman, if a woman says, well, you know, I want an educated man with a lot of money. Now, if she's uh, if she takes it really into her subconscious, her perceptions, her impulses will take her to places where these people are going to be. And in addition, regardless of the case, your subconscious will start making the changes within you to attract that type of person. That's another piece of it. That's another piece. Now, I mentioned, like, you know, some people have these impossible standards. Well, they're not really impossible. I say impossible, but it seems unrealistic. Like, you get somebody who wants that NBA player or that pro athlete. Right, and it, and you see this more with women than men. They want they want that superstar. It's like, well, first of all, I don't think they're serious because your energy should start to change you up and put you in a position to find those guys to be be in those positions. I think a lot of people say that, but they don't really believe it. But it's say you would the type of person to believe it, and you would say, okay, well. I need to create a broadcast. Well, one, your subconscious will say, well, you know, those guys, uh, you know, they want a woman who's built like this and look like that. You will start changing to do that. Okay, so these guys, they known to be at this place. You would be there. And some people do that anyway. Like, using a superstar example, a lot of promoters, they'll find, like, a local athlete, star athlete, and just tell them just to show up. At a particular place. Just show up. You don't have to do anything. Just show up. And you'll have women around the block. 
But um, uh, ironically, that's part of the broadcast because it's the energy you give it out. Like here's a here's a secret, and I talked about this in my book, Sexual Chemistry, about charisma. People are generally conditional on how they show like a sexual vibe, an energetic vibe. I use the example of this woman I called her April. She uh, she wants a rich man. So when she's around men that she thinks are rich, she has a very receptive vibe. She walks slower, more sensuously. She's smiling more. She's giving off the energy of, yes, I'm receptive to you. And she's broadcasting that energy. But when a woman is around guys who she don't think, when the same woman is around guys who don't, she don't think of as rich, like she might call them dusty or something. She's more defensive. She's giving a broadcast of not, she's giving a broadcast of, yeah, don't come near me. Now, see, here's a little problem with that. That's your conscious mind. Her best thing to do in that particular case is to have just an open broadcast. Let me explain what I mean by that. It means she's just broadcasting her energy. She wants a rich man, like, you know, she wants a rich man, but she's taken. By broadcasting energetically, she's taking her conscious mind out of it because she's consciously behaving a certain a way around a certain group of men she think are rich. And then behaving another way around a group of men she think are poor. But the reality is the men she think are rich are faking the funk. You know, they live in their mama's basements. You know, they borrowing, you know, they renting out a high luxury car. They spending their little bit of money on a high luxury car. A lot of men do this at clubs and stuff in places where there's a bunch of women who are uh, trying to level up, so to speak. But yet the men who are actually rich are in that group of men that she think are poor because they dress more modestly and they behaving more modestly. You know, they driving regular cars. But a reality out here, that's what a lot of men do. If they actually have money, people who have money actually try not to show it, you know, because they more focused on putting their money into assets, uh, you know, income producing assets, rather than wearing it on their back. Now, if she had an open broadcast where she's just broadcasting the energy and is receptive to whatever comes her way, she'll find one of those modest dressing guys will probably approach her, say something, and if she's open, she'll find out, oh, wait, this guy got something going on. That's how it worked. Because the answer to the uh, the one, the person, the mate who's going to pick up on a broadcast don't always come in the package that we want. Yeah, we can write down what an idea what we want and everything, but the broadcast is more of a spiritual thing, though. So it doesn't come in, a, it, it's not, it don't often come. Like if somebody's broadcasting, hey, I just want to meet, I just want to meet men, period. And then they were like, well, damn, how come all these men coming up? Because it's, you know, it's not stuck on one thing. It's just broadcasting. Like any broadcast is just going to go out in the area. It's not going to be, most cases, it's not going to be a directed broadcast. You know, when something starts transmitting, it goes in a circle, so it just goes out. So when that person's broadcasting something, everybody who comes to that energy, boom, that's who they meet. And in fact, on a higher level, shoot, that broadcast can really go across the world. You know, you just have to have the means for that person to get to you. Now, it's some deep stuff, but it's an energetic thing. It's an energetic thing. Western science is actually starting to catch up on that. Just the uh, energy. Like, when people talk about, like, uh, the law of attraction and everything, that's just a broadcast, an energetic thing. you broadcasting something. And it starts with a conscious thought about what you want and then let your subconscious take over. It's kind of like how prayer works. It's like, you pray for something, but really... Is really going into your subconscious to change you to get it. You might pray for a job and then let it go, but then subconsciously your body will change you or make the changes so you can actually get a job. So, anyway. Yeah, broadcasting to find a mate. It's a, it's a spiritual thing, really. It really is. It's an intangible thing. It's an energetic thing. So, anyway. That's all I have for now. I get back with you. Peace and many blessings.